Hello guys, today I wanted to go over spokes on a tire. Uh, we'll be using a 3D sketch and weld mains to do that. Um, I just wanted to say also that this isn't the correct way to spoke a tire, but um, this it works for the work that I do. So let's go into SolidWorks. And I already got this part started. Um, what I have here is um, three quarter inch circle a cut three quarter inch circle cut through with a, a pattern radial pattern and there's eight going around in a circle and I just pattern I just mirrored that across for this one and here I just have um, a loft in between and in between this whole thing I got 3.40 to the center of to the center of the mid plane so with that said let's just go and sketch on here and I'm going to put in for the rim of the tire I'm going to make a circle and I'm going to give that a dimension a diameter of 52 to 52 inches and I'm also going to turn it into construction geometry and now I'm going to take my point and put a point here and now I'm going to take a circular pattern and pattern that point. And it already knows I want to go from the center, which is good. And I have eight here, I said. So I'm going to put 16 points around the circle. And I'm going to accept that. And I'm going to get out of that sketch. And whenever you're using 3D sketch, you always it's always easier to go from point to point otherwise your sketch could end up all over the place so um, also on these spokes I want them to go up this way and out and to here um, if it was real real bike I think we'd be skipping every other one and but we're just gonna do it this way so I'm gonna sketch on here and I'm gonna put a point again and my point here and say okay and now I'm going to take a circular pattern and I want to pattern this point and I want to pattern it eight times and say okay so I got my points there and I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to sketch on here. And I'm going to do circle. And put a point there. And then I'm going to do a circular pattern. Choose what I want to pattern. Is this. And I'm going to go around. And I'm going to go eight times. And then I'm going to say OK. Accept that. So now, the next step is to get out of sketch. And now we have a whole bunch of points and it just looks confusing. So now I'm gonna go into 3D sketch and I'm gonna go into line. And now I'm just gonna click on each of these. And now you can see that blue box that's there. And when you don't see a blue box or you don't see anything, just like that is when I click and I say okay and I'm gonna have to do that on every one of them so I'm gonna fast forward this I'm just gonna do a couple of them and I'm gonna fast forward this once again I don't want to see any blue box or any blue lines and when I don't see it I say okay and the height right now doesn't really matter we can adjust that later so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this and finish this and get back to you when I'm done and we're gonna have to do the same thing for the bottom too so I'll just fast forward this and pick up when I get done
Okay, I'm back. I got that done. So our next step, I'm still in 3D Sketch. And now, um, the way I do it, like I said before, this isn't the correct pattern, but this is just a pattern that works. And this is mainly for beginners that don't even know where to get started with spokes. So next, I'll just come here and go for point. And to point and say okay and usually I'll just go like this and I'll do every other one now I'll do the bottom just like this and now you can see how it has a yellow dot and a red dot we always want to go to the yellow dot that's the end that we want and I'll just go to here and I'll go to here and I'm gonna fast forward this again because this is pretty um, it's a lot of repetition going on here so and I you see I messed up pretty badly see this is what happens sometimes with 3d sketch so we we'll just just start over and I'll go into my point again here There. And here. And here. And I'll just fast forward this from now on. Here. Alright, I'm back and now I'm just checking to make sure everything looks okay. And it looks good. And also, don't worry about the height. The height we could change later. So the next step now is to put um, a fillet on it. And I'm going to use a 3 quarter inch fillet. So 0.75. And say so, okay and I'll just do that to every one of them and this side too and accepted it and so we're good so now the next step is um, you can either sweep all these and which takes a, a pretty long time um, and I found that weld mints just is a little bit quicker and depends on the size of your thing of your spokes or your hole here you would probably have to make a custom weld mint so I'm going to show you how to do that real quick so um, like I said, I have a three-quarter inch hole, so I'm going to go into, uh, I'm going to start a new document, and I'm going to go to Imperial, and I'm going to go into my front view, and I'm going to sketch, and I'm going to sketch a circle, and I'm going to make it three-quarter inch. And say OK, and accept that. And now I'm going to make sure that sketch is highlighted and it's highlighted. And uh, now I'm going to go into save as and I'm going to save it as a PRT dot DOT. Oh no, I'm sorry. L I B F feet part F E A T part. I'm going to save it as that, and I'm going to name it um, 
three quarter inch. Pipe. And I'm going to go and find my C drive. And I'm going to go into program files. And I'm going to go find SolidWorks Corp. And I'm SolidWorks. And then I'm going to go into language, English. Um, then I'm going to find welding profiles. And mine, I'm going to put this one into ANSI inch. I put, uh, I put my own folder. It says Polly's profile. And I have a couple here, as you can see. So I'm going to, I named it three quarter pipe and I'm in the right profile. So I'm going to say save. All right. It doesn't like the name I'm putting. So I'll put three quarter inch pipe and put it there and save so it saved it so now I'll go back into our part file here and now we're ready to do weld bins so I'm gonna accept this and now that I made that part for weld bins, all you have to do is to start it is to go into structural member and then like I said it's ANSI inch and the type is where I made Paulie's profile and the size is three quarter inch pipe and now groups to do groups you just select here select here select here and then you say new group and then select here select here Select here, a new group. And I'm going to fast forward this because it's pretty uh, repetitious. And I'm going to say OK. Oops. So I pressed OK by accident. And now I'm just going to keep going. Okay, so we're back and um, I like everything, it's good. So the next thing I'm going to do is hide this just because it's getting annoying. And I'm going to hide these two. And these. I don't need them anymore. Okay, so that's our spoke so far. That's really all, all to it. That's all there is to it. Now, um, one more thing. See how these uh, heights are all different. So if I didn't hide that sketch, I'll show it again. And now what's good about um, SolidWorks in general is that if something's not right, you can always try pulling on it and see if it moves. And it moved. And now we could just get these. I usually just this line that's here. This line that's right here, I just try to make them all the same. So I just look and I'll pull this one down a little. And it looks good. And come here. And it doesn't like that one. And it's good. It's good. So I just try to make them all the same size. That's good. And then I do the same thing to the other side. And I just make sure they're all almost the same size. And that's, I worry about that now. So that's basically it. Um, I hope you like this tutorial and I hope you learned something. Um, to finish it off, all you would have to do is put a profile on here and then sweep a profile around there. And if you needed to, I could go over that in another tutorial. So 
Thank you very much for watching the tutorial and have a good day.